In this video, we're going to have a look at the concept of a Z value in the normal distribution. Now, what a Z value is, it's the number of standard deviations we are from the mean in a normal distribution. So let's say on this first distribution that we want to measure the probability that something lies one and a half standard deviations from the mean or more. So what we're going to do here is calculate this area here. So the boundary is 1.5 standard deviations the reason for that is the standard deviation is one yeah the square root of one is one so one and a half standard deviations from the mean is just one and a half so in the calculator if i go into normal distribution mode menu normal cumulative distribution and the lower bound we see is 1.5 1.5 and the upper bound is infinity so our approximation for infinity is 10 to the power of 99, the biggest number the calculator can handle. Our standard deviation, 1, and our mean, 0. And the probability is 0 0.0668. So here, the probability that Z is greater than 1.5 equals, we said it was 0 0.0668. Okay, so now let's do something similar for this distribution. So the mean of this distribution is 100. I'll mark it in the centre. And to be consistent, I should probably go back to this and mark the mean 0 there. So the mean's 100. And we want the probability that something lies 1.5 or more standard deviations from the mean. So variance 30, standard deviation root 30. So 100 plus 1.5 root 30 is our lower bound for that region. Let's type it in the calculator. So the lower bound, 100 plus 1.5 root 30 is our lower bound. Upper bound is still 10 to the power of 99. Our standard deviation is root 30. And our mean is 100. And hopefully we get the same probability. Yes, 0 0.0668. So the probability that x is greater than 100 plus 1.5 root 30, i.e. 1.5 standard deviations from the mean, is also 0 0.0668. So let's do the same for this final green distribution here. So mean in the middle, 20, and one and a half standard deviations from the mean. So that's 20 plus 1.5 root 5. Let's put that in the calculator. Move it across here. So lower bound, 20 plus 1.5 root 5. Upper bound still infinity. Standard deviation is root 5, and the mean is 20, and we get the same again. So the probability that x is greater than 20 plus 1.5, lots of the standard deviation, is again 0.0668. So that's the, that's the thing that links these three distributions, the z values, the number of standard deviations from the mean, and you'll notice that this is the same for any normal distribution. So to calculate the number of standard deviations from the mean for any normal distribution, to calculate the z value, well, we'll first take our boundary line, let's call it x, then subtract the mean. So that's the distance from the mean, x take mu. We then divide by the standard deviation to see how many standard deviations from the mean we are. So take our boundary, then we take the mean. So we've just calculated how far we are away from the mean. And then by dividing by the standard deviation, we calculate how many standard deviations we are away from the mean. That's what a z value is. The z value is the number of standard deviations from the mean. So let's just write this down. This is the number of standard deviations away 
from the mean. And as I said before, this is something that links all normal distributions together. It's the measure that stays constant throughout all normal distributions. We measure everything in number of standard deviations away from the mean. So for more videos like this, go to illevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.